Sam. I'll be back in a little bit. I won't be gone very long. Uh -uh. You'll be a good boy while I'm gone, won't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, you will. Okay. Bye. So, on the agenda today, I have to go to the bank. I have to go to Kroger and return my milk jugs um, to the local dairy farmer. I have to go buy some stuff to clean out the inside of my car because my dash is disgusting. Then I'm going to go vacuum out my car. Then I have to go to Walmart and get, like, dog food and stuff. And there was something else on my list. Maybe just... Um, like going to Goodwill and looking. But first things first, I need to get my mail. I love getting mail. I probably don't have any or it's all junk. It feels wet. I hate when the mail feels wet. It makes me sad. But look, I got one of these. Okay, cool. So I just have to sign that and get that back to him. And oh God, work on a playlist, which has been very difficult for me. I used to love listening to music so much, like all the time. And I don't know what happened, but I don't really listen to music that much anymore. So I'm working on a playlist, like for our first dance and our the processional and recessional and. It's stressing me out. And that's garbage. Okay, so I'll just put that with the rest of my garbage. Oh, my mouth really hurts from yesterday. Um, I, okay, here's the thing. I'm new, hi. Anyways, here's the story. Last night, I made these buffalo chicken taquitos and they were so amazing. But by the time that they got done cooking, in the oven I was freaking starving so I took a big old bite out of one and burnt the entire roof of my mouth like the whole top of my mouth is one big blister and it's funny because earlier that day I burnt my mouth on some of the snacks that we had at work which was also buffalo chicken dip I don't know yesterday was just like all about buffalo chicken today my tummy's probably gonna hurt from it but I took a bite of that I just I literally had one chip with like a little scoop of dip and burnt the side of my mouth like right next to my gums or my right, right next, the gums right next to my teeth um and then I burnt it again so there's like a double blister and my mouth hurts so bad and it's like making me lisp a little bit I think because I was eating my taquitos right and my my mouth was burnt and I was drinking um grapefruit sparkling water because it's I'm obsessed with it right now and the carbonation on top of the burn that I had made it that much worse. So with every bite of taquito, I was using an extra large scoop of sour cream, which didn't make it taste any better. It just, excuse me, made my mouth hurt less. And with every drink of sparkling water, I was clenching my butt so hard so I didn't cry <laughs> like a little baby. I just really need some chapstick. Okay. My car is clean. I know you can't tell, but it is. And yes, I do keep a trash can in my car because there's nothing worse than trash just piling up, you know? And I'm so bad about like cleaning out my car. I don't know why. When I was in high school, I actually kept a laundry hamper in my car because I was always changing clothes. Like, you know, I'd have my gym clothes and then my practice clothes like sports practice clothes then I had ballet clothes and I was I was literally like the master of changing clothes in my car and I had to keep a laundry hamper because my dad got tired of me not bringing in my laundry and then needing something immediately so yeah anyways I'm still really bad about that but now it's just work uniforms because that's all I do with my life is work um so now I have to go to the gas station because Ooh, words because I forgot to get gas while I was at Kroger and I'm pretty upset about it and if I don't use the bathroom soon I'm going to spontaneously come back so I'm gonna do that and then I have to uh, 
God, why don't I make a to-do list? Ah, I can't remember what else I need to do. Go to Walmart for something. So, anyways, uh, that's where we are. My car is so clean. I feel like a crazy person just sitting here talking to myself. Also, I'm sweating because I got really hot. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, I hate Walmart so much. Not because of Walmart, but just because... Well, for one thing, it's always freaking packed. There's always 7 million people in Walmart. And I don't understand why. But I guess they're all here for the same reason that I'm here. And the other thing is just like, ugh, I don't know. I feel like there's different types of people who go to different stores. So, like, Walmart people are just, I feel, okay, my personal experience with the people of Walmart. Which, did you know that there's a book <laughs> at Barnes & Noble? called the people of Walmart there's like a couple of them and it's mostly just pictures of people who are like dressed really silly or acting really dumb or something like that anyways those are so hashtag accurate that it's almost annoying <laughs> I just hate all right here's what I really don't like you're pushing a buggy everybody's got a buggy right do you call them a buggy or a car let me know I'd be interested to know I call it a buggy because I'm from the south but you're pushing a buggy along, right? And somebody is walking down the middle of the aisle. And the way I see it is walking places is similar to driving places. So, like, stay in your lane, you know? Use the right-hand side. That's just the way I see it. But that's probably, like, kind of silly. Anyways, I hate when people are walking down the middle of the aisle, make eye contact with you. You're trying to be polite and pass them. You give them a little, excuse me. And they still continue walking down the middle of the aisle. Like, I can't make my buggy or myself any smaller than we already are. I hate that. Also, I don't know why people are so up in arms about using self-checkout. I love self-checkout. But only because I want as little human interaction when I leave my house as possible. Because I'm a crazy person. I'm one of those people... Oh, my God, I've turned into one of those people who would much rather interact via the phone than in person. Ew, I hate myself! This coffee is so good. I made keto coffee with chocolate greens this morning. It was amazing. I filmed it on my other camera, but I'm just going to tell you how I did it. So I put like two or three tablespoons of water in the bottom of my blender because I don't have a frother and I don't freaking know why. And then I add my keto coffee mix and two scoops of chocolate greens and I blend that up so it's smooth. And then I just pour coffee in my blender a little bit, not all of it. I have a little five pot coffee maker. So I only pour like one cup of coffee in there and blend that all up. And then I just put it in here, added the rest of the coffee, like filled it up to here, added a little bit of almond milk just because that's how I like it. And then I topped it off with whipped cream and it was amazing and I've been drinking it all day all day I've literally been up for an hour maybe two I don't know so yeah and it keeps me full and it's helping me lose weight and I love it so much and it tastes really really yummy <coughs> I should have brought water with me too oh my god I absolutely love these stainless steel straws I got them at Cracker Barrel there was something else I needed to do while I was in town before I went home and I can't remember what it is to go home though because I'm working on some wedding projects that was almost an accident and I can't wait I'm really excited I'm working on a sash that's what they call it but when I think sash I think like sash like a seatbelt <laughs> oh I was gonna go to Goodwill nah not anymore um and I'm also working on a checkerboard quilt so why do people do that? Ah! I absolutely <laughs> have a lot of pet peeves. But I hate when people wait until the very last second to try and change lanes. Like, okay, when you're coming up to an intersection, the road is painted with arrows so you know which lane is going where. And they don't just paint the arrow right at the light. Like, pay attention. Ugh. I'm, I'm so stupid. 
I get irritated at the littlest stuff, but then like big stuff just rolls off my back. That doesn't make any sense. I could do a whole video on my pet peeves, but that would require remembering them and I can't remember anything. To save my life, I literally have the memory of a goldfish. It lasts 15 seconds. That's part of the reason why I'm gonna start making videos because you know, I'm getting married soon and so I just wanna remember my life a little bit because I don't remember anything. <laughs> so while I was at Walmart, I bought um, some spray paint so I can work on a couple little projects. Oh, God, I have so much to do. I bought um, dog food and light bulbs and something else. Oh, apple pumpkin candles. My favorite flavor of candles is apple pumpkin. It's the best. I'm not a pumpkin spice girl. I'm sorry. I just am not. It's not my thing. Um, so like when fall comes around and everybody's like, PSO, hashtag life. <laughs> no. No, thank you. The person in that car probably thinks I'm mental. Ugh. No, I don't like pumpkin spice. My favorite, okay. Let's play a game. My favorite Starbucks coffee of fall time is an iced salted caramel mocha. Oh God, I should go get one. No, that's not in my diet. <laughs> it's not in my diet at all. I'm trying to cut carbs. Um, let's see, my favorite fall candle flavor is, I know that it's scent, I know, or fragrance, but I like to call it a flavor. Uh, my favorite fall candle flavor is, I just pulled my hair so hard it gave me a headache, is the apple pumpkin. <laughs> my favorite fall outfit is jeans and hoodie. Oh my god. But I bought this really, really cute dress last year from a friend of mine. Um, she has a boutique. And it's like this, um, I don't think that it's wool, but it kind of looks like wool. It's a gray wool dress that has like feathers on it. It's a long sleeve, like mid-length dress. I love it, but I bought it too late last year to wear it. Uh, I bought it when it was closer to winter, and it didn't look like a winter dress. It looked like a fall dress. So, I can't wait to wear that for the first time. I don't know why I don't wear dresses, but anyways, um, I'm gonna go home. It's noon already? Where's the time gone? Excuse me. I swear there was another thing that I was gonna do today. I'm just, that made my head hurt. What is wrong with me? Ah! I'm gonna go home and put my crap away and then put on some sweatpants because I'm tired of wearing jeans already. And then I'm gonna start working on my belt. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I hope I don't screw it up. Oh, I need to finish my quilt too. Listen, today is September 10th. I'm getting married on Halloween. And I'm not ready <laughs> at all. And I'm trying to convince myself that I don't care. But I had a wedding nightmare last night. It woke me up at 2 a.m. in a hot, in a cold, in a hot, in a cold sweat. Um, I don't remember if I told that story yet or not. Well, I'm gonna double check that I didn't tell the story, and then, <laughs> and then I'll tell it again. <sighs> okay, here's the thing. I. <laughs> cannot work on that quilt right now. I mean, what was I doing? It was the belt, actually, not the quilt. I just can't. I started it. It's stressing me out. I <laughs> I literally worked on it for two hours and got nowhere. So I decided to start dinner. Tonight we are going to be having Swiss hamburger steaks with grilled onions, a side salad, some baked potatoes, um, loaded baked potatoes, broccoli, and as I started dinner, I realized that all of my cheese was molded and I'm really upset about it. So I'm on the way to the store to get the cheese and then I'm going to cook dinner and hang out with Trav and Sam and tomorrow is going to be really interesting because we're supposed to be getting some kind of like freaky deaky, like super hurricane. I just realized I'm not wearing my glasses. I just cut up an onion and it hurts my eyeballs so bad. Did I already say that? Anyways. We're supposed to be getting like massive amounts of rain. All right, I'll put my seatbelt on. 
um, cause this hurricane Florence or whatever is coming. And so anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm done for today. So I'll see you, uh, tomorrow, I guess, or maybe not. I'm not actually sure. I need a schedule. Ah!